Dani hat ja einige Sachen hier schon hochgeladen und wir haben uns gerade entschieden, das neue VR-Video von ihm zu schauen, weil ihr wisst, Next Level 2, ich bin sehr in VR deep drin, What? ich sehe mich da sehr für. Ich entwickle selber VR-Games, mehrere habe ich schon entwickelt, eins komplett selber für Steam, das ist auch auf Steam draußen tatsächlich. Space Ninja Simulator, ausgeglichene Reviews. <lacht> Deswegen interessant, wie Danny das gemacht hat. Let's go. Why you don't try make a VR game? Or you can't do that? So last time some challenged me like this, I ended up working on a fully fledged Steam release, which is currently like the 34 most wishlisted game on Steam, which is really stupid. Anyway, I can't let Mr. Guy Fam roast me like this and just get away with it. There's just one tiny problem. VR headsets are expensive and I don't have one. Well, actually I do, I made one, but uh, we, we don't really talk about that around <laughs> here. Okay, lol. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I'm not gonna waste $700 on a VR headset just to win an argument. That would be stupid and I'm gonna be the bigger man here and psych, you think you can <laughs> Ich jetzt gemacht, weil ich kann nicht niemand rollen. Hey, with the hell no, I'm gonna make you eat up your words, you little piece of shit. No, Danny, you can't just buy a VR headset to win an argument. I have money, go brrrr. Alter, der Schnitt, yo. Boah, what the is going on? Ah! Thank you, sir. Wow, guys, I can't believe FBI delivered my Oculus. Oh! Junge, Alter, einmal Kopf geplatzt. Oh, fuck. So if you don't... <laughs> I don't know what a VR headset is. It means virtual reality. So basically, it's it's just reality in virtual. Die bessere Realität einfach. Yeah, you're welcome. Explanations. Ever wanted to cut a plank? Well, now you can. Drive a truck around for hours with nothing in return? Yes, sir. Wash someone else's car without getting paid? Absolutely. Now, some of you boomers might be saying, why not just wash a car in real life and actually get paid? <laughs> Okay, uh, listen up, that's, that's actually kind of a good idea. But no, what really makes VR fun is doing things you can't do in real life. You can yes. cut flying blocks to the beat of the music, throw ninja stars at red boys, because f red boys, slay dragons, that whatever the f this What the fuck? This, and much more, all from home. Also, ohne Scheiß, ich schwör's euch, wartet auf die nächsten Jahre, VR wird insane. Also, was wir mit Next Level 2 jetzt haben, ist auch sehr, sehr cutting edge. Also, wir versuchen da die, die bestmögliche Fire Experience ever zu bauen, also die halt aktuell möglich ist. Und ähm, wir versuchen das halt, weil es ist ein sehr hochgestecktes Ziel, <lacht> tatsächlich, ne? Hier jetzt auch nicht zu sehr frischen, lol. Ähm, aber ja, das versuchen wir auf jeden Fall. Und dadurch, dass ich mich so sehr mit der Cutting Edge Technology, was VR angeht, beschäftige, es wird so geil, Alter, dann zu gucken. Home, using a single head. Auch wenn man so was wie das Metaverse in, in Bezug zieht. Set. So, how does it work? Well, I'm glad you asked. I, I have no idea. Anyway, let's get to work. And when I say get to work, I mean play Beat Saber for 11 hours until I pass out on the floor, then wake up the next morning and get to work. And when I say get to work, I mean play Beat Saber. Now, there's just one tiny. Get it, Beat Whiny little problem. I don't know how to make a VR game, which is kind of essential when you're making a VR game so so first we install this app for the headsets uh, make sure to read the terms and conditions said no one ever next then we make a new project in unity which is the game engine I'll be using yes. import open XR and uh, we're ready to get to work and when I say get to work I mean play beat sabers for 11 more hours and pass out so first off, I added some basic shapes and colors, along with a B, and the bean represents the player. And just like that, I can now look around at the shapes. Now I might look really dumb here, and that's probably because I am really dumb. So there Welche Programmiersprachen kannst du eigentlich? Ich kann Java, JavaScript, bisschen PHP. Ich kann C Sharp, Objective C. On Python. There's that, but it's also actually kind of cool. And now we need some hands because currently I only have my face. Nice, ich feiere euch so sehr, dass euch so ein Dart kam auch interessiert. Weil <laughs> mich auch. This switch doesn't have hands. And fortunately for us, I got my hands on some hands because Oculus has released some free hand models we can use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zoink. Then I found a tutorial on YouTube on how to set up. Velum. Nice VR tutorials, die habe ich mir auch gerade reingezogen. Hands by Valem and just like that we have hands and I know, it's pretty incredible. I bet you wish you had hands too, but you know, maybe one day. The next step is of course to build my office in VR. Now the hardest part about this was getting all of the sizes correct, but after... Das ist wirklich schwierig, also um, Scaling ist da wie auch sehr wichtig, gerade wenn man sowas 
machen will, was sich sehr, sehr echt anfühlt. Wir arbeiten ja zum Beispiel auch viel damit, dass du echte Dinge in deiner Umwelt wirklich anfassen kannst und die 1 zu 1 im VR auch da sind. Und dass das wirklich möglichst Millimeter genau passt, ist echt nicht so einfach. Teilweise After a lot of testing, I got it done. I don't really know why I went through all of the trouble of doing this, but drinking milk and destroying my office in VR just kind of had its charm, I guess. It was pretty cool. I also tried to learn how to juggle and eventually simultaneously juggle three balls with ease. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get a bit more spicy. Now, unless you live in America, you probably don't have a 9mm pistol loaded with freedom lying around. I certainly don't. Yo, Alter, die ist immer steuern. But in VR, you can do that. So, let's add a gun. Coding for it, and then I added the gun model. Then I made some particles using Unity's particle system. And just like that, we can now express our freedom and greatness in all its glory. And after some target practice, I'm now ready for setting up a grappling gun. So we got some quick code for the grappling gun done, and we can now swing around, which is really fun to do. But one thing about VR is that it feels very real, and it can make you really motion sick. And uh, I got really motion sick. Then I added Motion Sickness kommt übrigens bei VR daher, dass die Bewegung, die, du, die dein echter Körper macht, nicht mit der Bewegung, die dein Körper in VR macht, übereinstimmt. Zum Beispiel, wenn du mit dem Joystick einfach rumfliegst, dann wirst du Motion Sick. Das heißt, am einfachsten äh, Motion Sickness bekämpfen tust du dadurch, dass halt jede Bewegung in VR durch eine echte Körperbewegung motiviert wird. I added a robot from my game Carlson, which you can wish this on Steam, by the way. And um, is it just me? Or is, is it looking kind of thick? Why don't you bend over for me, thick boy? Den jetzt noch riggen, dann ist das doch ein cooler Kerl. Look at that sweet. Ow, pow, whoop, pow. Okay, that's weird. What a nice gelandet. day to do some code. Now, oh, what the f? Johnny, what the f are you doing? Get in stupid. Look what you did, you ruined everything. Oh, oh you want to fight? You're trying to catch these hands? Pow! Yeah, how's that? Uh, you want some more? Why don't you take some milk? Okay, so uh, we're now experts at VR and uh, spanking robots, so let's make our first VR game. I started a new Unity project and got my hands in there. Ich glaube, ich weiß sogar, welche Skybox das ist. And the idea for my game is that you play as an enormous giant, just like your mom. So the first problem I encountered is that your hands just go through the ground, which is kind of lame because I want to be able to just slam dunk into the ground. Dafür brauchst du bounding boxen, das sind collider boxen, das ist... I fixed this by just making the hands their own physics objects, and now you can slam them. Diese grünen Boxen, die ihr gerade gesehen habt, sind dafür da, dass quasi Unity weiß, okay, hier hört die Hand auf, und dann kann gibt's den Boden auch so eine Box, und wenn die beiden Boxen aufeinander knallen, dann sind Hitboxen, kennt ihr aus Spielen. Think all you want, but something's missing. So of course I made some particles using Unity's particle system, and just like that, the slam dunk looks it looks kind of good. I also added the ability to grab rocks from the hill. Not really sure why, I just kind of wanted to grab some rocks, you know? And now you can combine cool. the mechanics. So if you slam dunk a rock, it's thrown up into the air, and then you can grab it and throw it. But mama always told me, what's the point of throwing rocks if you don't have anyone to throw the rocks at? She totally didn't say that. But we need an enemy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and recycle the player model I made for my game Milkman Carlson and turn it into a caveman or something. Ooga booga. Also, isn't he kind of thick? Anyway, I put the caveman into the game. <laughs> the owl you can now smash them like rocks and throw them around. Now you might say, "Das ist ein Spiel, das wird safe funktionieren. Das ist wieder so stupid, dass es funktioniert." What's the point? Isn't this kind of stupid? And to that I say this: Yes, yes, it absolutely goddamn freaking is very stupid. But also playing with ragdolls. Es wäre also ganz dumm. Es wäre noch mal noch besser sein, wenn du die auf dem Boden haust, die Figuren, die platzen so auf. Das würde ich jetzt noch machen. It's very fun. So, uh, yeah. I also gave them a more distinct look, so they don't blend in with the background so much. And this was done following a cell shader tutorial from Daniel Ilet. And when I say following a tutorial, I mean. Hippity hoppity, your code is now. Programmieren in a nutshell. My property. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we have a pretty cool shader. Daniel has a YouTube channel with some shader tutorials, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, Den werde ich mir mal anyway I started making a run animation because it's kind of scary when they just stand still and t-pose at me. <laughs> also did some more code and made some particles, and uh, here we go. Ah, what a beautiful day to smash some tiny humans. Kobe, boom! Genau das meine ich, die müssen auch Get over here, get this rock going. Ey, ist eine pretty cool idea, so riesengroß mäßig. I guess. Oh. Say hello to my 
What? Two friends, right hand and left hand. I have a hand. titan simulator. Boom, nice to meet ya. <laughs> I did run into an issue though, where if you destroy an object that you're holding, you get a lot of errors. Like, a lot of errors. So I just found the code that was telling me there was an error and uh... Yeah. And uh, we're good to go. Everything's working fine. Anyway, to make the game come together a little more, I made a new stage, which is like an island, and added some randomly generated terrain, like rocks and trees, and we now have some better looking gameplay. There is, however, a problem. Currently, the cavemen running around are only seeing floating hands attacking them, which it's a bit weird and unfair to them. But this is easy to fix, so I made a giant caveman and connected his head to my head, and uh, here we go. What the fuck? Yeah, so that didn't really work out, but I fixed it and it now looks a bit better, but it, it's still really weird and the legs are sort of just flopping everywhere, so... What the fuck is so I don't really know. And uh, currently the enemies are just running around, not really fighting back, so I decided to give them a weapon, and uh, what weapon you might ask? B! Oh hey little go- oh, oh you got a bean? Oh no, I'm so scared! B oh wait, what the fuck is that? Stop! I also gave some of them the high-tech omnidirectional bean gear. They can use this to swing around and grapple to the player in a it's just attack on Titan. Attack, which is a totally original invention by me, of course, not inspired by anything. What do you mean? Don't worry everybody, it's me, Aaron Jaeger. I'll take care of that Titan. <laughs> I might be having a bit too much fun playing around with it. Es ist eine coole Gameplay Idee, muss ich ihm sagen. Also das ist halt echt eine Sache. Ich muss ihm echt sagen, es ist eine coole Gameplay Idee. Maybe, just maybe. Es ist schon mit dem ganzen Ragdolls ist sehr cool. And finally, I added a turret, some sound effects, a main menu, death screen, and more maps. And just like that, my first VR game is done, and it's terrible. So, yeah, I still don't really know what the game is about. You just kind of smash small cavemen with a mix of Attack on Titan in there, and also... Aber die Particles sind satisfying. But uh, I thought it was fun, and I learned a lot about VR and other stuff, so that's pretty cool. If you want to try the game for yourself, I'll try to provide a link in the description. But I'm currently moving apart in like two days and I haven't even started packing yet because I was busy smashing cavemen, uh, spanking robots, working on this video and playing Beat Saber. So uh, the link might not be ready yet, but I'll try to get it out as soon as possible. Also keep in mind the game is pretty bad, it's not really polished at all. Uh, and not really meant for anyone else to play, so I just didn't have time for that, so don't expect much if the link is up. Obviously you need a VR headset to play this, and uh, I couldn't really think of a way to make it very playable for PC players, unfortunately, so just keep that in mind. That's it for me though, make sure to smash subscribe for more garbage and follow Schade. me on social media. Also, thanks a lot for watching, you're great, and as always, Safe. drink milk, hit Billy, and beat your will. Also, ist ein, natürlich ein sehr basic VR-Game, aber so für das erste Ding ist es sehr, sehr nice, muss man sagen. Hat mich tatsächlich sogar ein bisschen inspiriert. Jetzt nicht unbedingt, welche Menschen zerschlagen, aber diese Idee von du bist riesig und du machst halt irgendwas, das, das ist halt cool.